Okay, we promised cringe and the cringe is here. The cringe is coming. Everybody hide. Hide your kids. Hide your wife because they cringe and everybody up in here. By having shows like this. And, I mean, I don't come to your house and try to convince you to be a Christian. And, okay, so this is what I would do. Um, I don't believe in... Okay, hold on. Hold on, Ruth Ann. Hold on. So just you found our YouTube channel where people call in to us to talk to us. And you're comparing that to us going into your home and forcing a conversation on you. Is that right? Well, because that really doesn't exactly. add up, does it? Well, not exactly, because not even close. You're, well, you're a danger to the youth because they have access to YouTube. And it really bothers me that, you know, one day my nieces and nephews, I don't have kids, but you know, my nieces and nephews can come across this and start believing this stuff. And that's the problem, you know? It's like, it's just like... Sorry, that's our live studio Sorry, audience. Yeah, they're, a... they're hoping that your nieces and nephews find the show. So imagine that your neighbor invites you over for dinner and then you walk into their house and go, what the fuck? Why did you break into my house? That's exactly <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> the, but the, the first thing that she said was, it's not like Christians come into your home and try to convince you. Isn't that literally what they do? Once again, you're, you're talking to a Mormon. They, they, do, <laughs> they do that. That's, that's their play, actually. No, no, no Jimmy. They, they just go to the front porch. You have to invite them in. It's totally different. Right. I am so tired of the narrative, though, of like, why, why, uh, this actually happened to me last week with a person who is also Mormon. She's somebody that I've seen be very skeptical in the past. And I thought she was on her way out of the church, but ended up overcoming her faith crisis. Um, but her whole thing was like, she mentioned being disappointed to find out I had a channel that shits on Mormonism as well as other stuff. And I was like, uh, well, it's important to me and I don't know why you'd be disappointed in that. And she's like, well, uh, it's not like I, uh, I have a podcast going around trying to tell why atheism shitty. First of all, if you actually think atheism is shitty, start your podcast. I'll come on it gladly yeah. after yeah, you exactly. get a few subs. I don't, I don't really see a lot of atheists saying, you know what? It's completely wrong that anyone would talk about Christianity and try to try to get someone to believe in Christianity. I mean, there's shitty ways of doing it. There's in, like just dishonest ways of doing it. But just talking about it in general, talking about what you believe in in an honest way, that's fine. I don't really think that there's a lot of atheists out here saying that that is just inherently immoral. And, and beyond that, it's their problem is they want us to shut up and we aren't shutting up. And it's like, well, why even come after these things? We're not doing this to you. You know what you are doing? Let's just stick with Mormons for a second. You have congressional representation. They have over a dozen Mormons in the House and they have in the Senate. From the, the, those are just the Utah senators and congressmen. I'm sure there are a couple of Mormons in Idaho and, and some other places. Uh, atheists don't have that. Uh, and then the Mormon church, for example, is actually competing, despite being the fraction of the size, competing with the Catholic church for the richest religious entity in the world. Yeah, I don't think that religious people a lot of the time are okay with atheists having even just a little bit of a voice. They think that this little tiny, uh, you know, squeaky wheel is going to break the entire machine. Maybe they're right. Maybe it will. Uh, but it seems like they're trying to squash it as soon as they see anything. To me, that seems to indicate fear. I don't know what you think about it. I actually think it's con it's a condescending belief, to tell you the truth. I think what it is, is they are saying, we believe our beliefs to be honest and yours to be dishonest. Because just as a thought exercise, if you're religious, just imagine if you found out it was all a lie, as I think I did with Mormonism. So all of these people I grew up with, my family, all the people I care about are falling for a scam. They're giving up 10% of their income, a lot of life. They've been taught to be bigots. But under the guise of loving people, hating the sin, but not the sinner. And yet the sinners are the ones killing themselves before they're 18 in Utah right now. So it's it's a matter of like, we're cool with all the ways we express ourselves religiously, but not yours. Because, you know, what harm are we really doing? You're not actually examining the question and go looking at our perspective of like, the people we care about or just people in general are falling for what we think we have discovered to be bullshit. And that's my motivation. So fuck off. 
it's laziness and it's bigotry all wrapped into one, I think. Yeah, 